after uh, EAR, EMR serverless job. So first of all, you have to go to uh, AWS console and type EMR. So you will get uh, come to an interface like this and click here. Then you will go to the EMR serverless. So here uh, would be the interface that you're going to see. Uh, sometimes you will going to say uh, start your application here, create your first application because since already I have a creator applications, I uh, get a, a dashboard in manage application. So this is the location where you are uh, going to create your first application for EMR serverless. Just click on the create application, uh, give a name. And then you can se select the versions and the, uh, all the softwares, different versions that you need and the architectures and uh, any default or, uh, or any settings that you want to change it. For me, I'm going to select the default here because this is a simple demonstration. So, uh, I, so I start creating my application. So can you see that we already create application and then next as a next stage you need to start your application. I'll go inside the application and click on start application. So if you go back, uh, it will take a bit time to start your applications. Uh, for this demonstration, I already create a application uh, uh, already so that I'm going to use that application it would be the same thing. Uh, so I'm going to uh, go to the application that already has started and then here where I'm going to submit my first job. Uh, before I show you how to submit the job, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the code. Um, this is a small uh, uh, code. Uh, what you're going to do, read the CSV file and um, from that is they're going to select some columns. Uh, and then create a data frame that's only and then create an output from that um, uh, don't worry guys I'm going to share the all the codes and everything in GitLab with the link to the video as well so you guys can download the all the code so different between these two, uh, two codes is uh, this code is uh, set up to process multiple file in the folder uh, in S3 bucket uh, here is I have select a specific uh, file So now, uh, before I'm going to show how to submit a job, uh, I'm going to show you, uh, take you to S3 bucket that I have already created. So uh, you can take uh, create any S3 bucket and then uh, create a couple of folders to better organize. I have created one data files, output file and my Python code. I have already uploaded my Python code because uh, I'm going to, uh, for e EMR serverless, uh, I am going to give the path to the, this uh, Python file to run the job. Okay, uh, now I'm going to submit a, my first job. So it's already uh, given name and now here is the most uh, trickier part. Uh, so you have to make sure you uh, create a proper runtime uh, role. Uh, so I'm going to take you through the, the whole process. You can click here uh, to learn more. And then you, they give you the guidance how to create a runtime role. Don't worry guys, I'm going to take you through that. And uh, when you click in the next link, uh, create a runtime role, uh, you will uh, you need to go to your IM and uh, go to the IM roles here. Uh, if you click on the, this link, directly go to your uh, IM and start creating a role. So first step is to uh, create a role. And uh, if you can see the documentations, uh, they say uh, select the trust, custom trusted policy. So you can select that. And then uh, they give instruction to uh, copy paste this code. I'm just going to follow the instruction. And then go to next. And then uh, they are giving instruction to uh, create a policy. So I'm going to follow that. 
so and uh, if you go there a uh, create a policy they they given the code already but the most important thing they ask you to like uh, uh, give the bu uh, bucket name your bucket name bucket locations bucket name uh, I'll show you how to do that so I'm gonna select here and uh, copy this uh, JSON code and then paste here and then I need to change this my to my S3 bucket so if you go to S3 bucket that you created uh, from here you can take the bucket part this is a resource name you copy this one and you are gonna replace these two this is uh, asterisk to uh, access everything inside your bucket so after doing that you just have to go next tag and then review and then uh, complete the policy I'm gonna give this uh, EMR V do policy I'm going to create the policy creating the policy is not going to complete everything but you need to create the role as well so in order to do that go, go back to the previous page so now what you can see is now uh, you can able to uh, search the policy here so you create a policy name uh, emr underscore video so you can find your policy select that policy go to the next and give your role the, the your policy is already attached to your role and create a role so now you have a uh, role uh, your role also created now you can go back to your uh, emr and if you refresh here you should be able to see your policy select that uh, our runtime role and now i'm going to give the bar path to my code in my s3 bucket so what i'm going to do is uh, go here my python file I'm going to select the first one so I'm going to this is path I'm going to select the path and I'm going to give here so my role is right I'm going to keep everything else as uh, default because I'm not going to uh, in our code uh, there's a no uh, provide extra arguments and things like that uh, in future video I'm going to show you uh, how to do this stuff this is a simple uh, demonstration how to submit the uh, EMR job so I'm going to submit so it's going to take a couple of time minute to uh, finish the job around a minute uh, so meantime I'm going to take you through the code again uh, this is the bucket that we already copy paste there and the file path and everything and this is just a small code select everything select particular set of column from the data file and uh, this is uh, guys this is a, even though this is a simple demonstration so you can submit uh, I'm going to show you a couple of video in the future where you can submit a job uh, using Apache Airflow uh, and uh, other lambdas to uh, submit job to the uh, EMR serverless. I'm going to pass forward here guys. Okay guys, uh, now you can see our, our job is completed. Now if I go to S3, my S3 bucket and go to output, 
you can see all the file is already created parquet file so this is a simple demonstrate how to run a emr job so if you go to your job inside your job you can see uh, all the information how it's completed and uh, all the other uh, time how many minutes it took to run and things like that okay guys um, thank you guys for watching